Hey guys, having a digital portfolio when you apply for job positions can be a strategic move. A digital portfolio is a together a portfolio of your creations. It can be great. Um, it can be a great strategic uh, move if you are applying for graphic designer position or just a digital creator position. Even if you're applying for marketing specialist role, it can be a strategic move because you can just put together some of the work, some of the jobs that you have recently completed for other companies or as a sole trader, so as a business owner. So today we can see together how we can build very quickly with Canva a digital portfolio that can create impact and completeness with your job application. So we are here in Canva. As you can see, I do have a Canva pro version, but you can definitely have also a Canva free version um, and it's going to be absolutely okay because we have different templates and with the Canva free version, you have a lot of templates um, that are different for different type of job position that you're applying for. When you are here, there is the bar search through which you can search for the digital portfolio option. When you click on the digital portfolio option, you're going to have different type of options here listed um, and there are quite a lot. As you can see, most of the jobs that are listed here, of course, are about the digital creation. So you have digital marketing, graphic designer, or it could be marketing specialist, um, or they can be more on you as this one, for example, which is more on the brand persona. So the profile that you want to push on the market, on the digital world, which is your digital profile. After you go through the different templates, you will see as usual, as I explained in one of my other tutorials, that we have different type of uh, marks here. So the pro marks is definitely the one for the pro membership. So it means that you are paying something per month. They give you access to pro futures in Canva, but also you have templates like this one, where you can definitely see that it's completely free. There is no pro marks here and you have the options to um, customize this template, to download it for completely for free. So you don't have to pay. You just need to click on the template and you can start customizing it. So for the purpose of this uh, video, I'm going to choose something that can be really, um, you know, adaptable for any of the um, audience that is looking at is watching this video today. So we're going to go for something that it's really, um, you know, like on you. So push your profile whether you are a digital creator or maybe just even like a teacher um, that wants to show uh, some of your creation for learning material in, in materials in class, or it could be that you are a marketing specialist. So it can be um, really um, flexible depending on which job position you are applying for. This is a pro uh, template, but there are also something very similar. There's also something very similar that it's not a pro, it's a for free. When you click on the pro template, you will see that it also gives you some other options here below. Um, again, same principle. You can just take the time to view some of them and check. Oh, look at here. I have something, for example, um, here for, um, for free. Let me see if there is anything for free here. For example, this is for free. So maybe I can go with this one because I don't have the membership and I don't want to do it just for this template. Okay, so let's suppose that we are happy with this template. So we're going to just scroll quickly on, you know, like the different pages and we definitely see that mm, there is a good amount of pages, um, different aspects that I want to um, touch base on my digital portfolio. Remember that when you are going to click on this template and choose this template, you will definitely be able to add more pages or delete pages that you don't need. So once we click on this template, we can definitely start um, customizing the template. So the first things that, of course, uh, we want to do is deleting the picture. So many of you have contacted me asking me how can I remove the background? How can I customize the pictures in Canva? Because the first tutorial in Canva that I did was a great success. So um, I receive a lot of messages asking for more information on how to do things in Canva. So I decided uh, we're going to go for projects. So for little uh, projects and through those projects, I'm going to guide you um, in seeing, showing you the application of these um, different features that you can have in Canva. So let's suppose that you're not happy with these pictures, of course, because it's not you. 
and you're gonna um, then go to uploads under uploads you're gonna have different type of pictures if you don't have any pictures here it means that you have to upload the pictures and you can do it by clicking on here and these things is gonna bring you to basically your folders from your computer. So for this video, I do have pictures here, they are quite enough. So let's suppose that I want to choose something very particular, very, um, you know, like egocentric. So I'm gonna go for this picture. I'm gonna click and hold on this picture. I can make it even like a little bit bigger. So you're gonna choose the size that you think is gonna be the right size for you. You could also decide to go even here, but of course you want to remove the background. So once you're here, you click on the picture. There are a few ways of removing the background in Canva. Let's see something very quickly or, um, you know, like something um, easy to do today, uh, which doesn't require like advanced future. You can just go on removing the background. And as you can see, it has completely removed the background. And for the purpose of this video, I decide that I want to place this picture here, but I will change the color of the background because my colors uh, for my brand are more like on pink side. I can decide to move to change the color. Mm? Okay, once I'm happy, you know, like I can adjust the, um, you know, like the size and everything. And I'm gonna adjust also the um, colors here for this. So just click and change the color. And I see, okay, I wanna do something maybe a little bit different for the arrow and for the uh, borderline here, I'm gonna do something, yeah, which is a line. Mm -hmm. So I'm not a graphic designer. Uh, so let's think that I'm, let's suppose that I'm like a digital creator, a very broader digital creator. And I'm gonna customize here. So I'm Dr. Claudia De Luca. Awesome. You can change, of course, your um, font. So for example, for my brand, I decided the Helvetica is the right one. So here I'm gonna put the logo and I'm gonna make sure that, so for example, here I have my logo, but it's black, so it doesn't work. I need to go for the white one. You're gonna make it a little bit bigger. You see? You can change it, you can move it, like it here, like it there. And same for all the other features. You can also decide that you don't want this type of creative things, um, so you can remove it. You have a lot of elements here on the bar on the side, so you might go for something a little bit different uh, that you can pick up from here. And scrolling down from here it could be that you want like more a picture so you're gonna go for one of these um, graphic elements just take the time to play a little bit with canva do something very very customized it can be that you are happy with this but you're gonna turn a little bit this okay way. so quickly um, you just a few things from here you can decide if you want a new subheadings or a new text that you can add from here so um, you can customize the exclusive presentation of blah 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 you're gonna cut in here and you're gonna do something more like personal that's completely up to you of course Remember that from the upload, you can upload all your picture. And then um, just another thing is very important. You can actually add elements from here. You can, for example, you can write stars and you have all the star, you see? Or you can um, put like arrow as I was before. And you have, if you do see all, you see all of them here quite a lot. Okay, so by the moment you are happy, very important. Um, if you're sharing this digital portfolio as a link, and we're gonna see like in a few minutes how you can do it as a link or as a, a PDF, it's very important that you put in here your um, 
link to your Instagram, for example, or Facebook pages or whatever you have. So when you click on here, you just go to link and you copy and paste. I'm gonna just copy and paste, control C, and then I'm gonna go here, you put the link, and you have the link now. So by the time you share this document as a digital portfolio, as a basically a link, so people will be able to open the link, so open the digital portfolio in a digital space, they also will be able to click on the link. Hmm? So after you make sure that all, if you have icons, you make sure that all the icons have a link associated, otherwise remove them, otherwise it's not a very good thing. You then customize each of these pages. As you can see, the template is very, all the templates in Canvas are very, um, are quite complete. So you can really just go through the template. And if you want to still customize a little bit, you can just, you know, like do it. So these are the frameworks where when you uh, put a picture, for example, I want to put this picture here. I'm going to do like that. Perfect. You're going to customize with your colors. You're going to produce something also in um, ChatGPT um, about yourself. So you can quickly just write a quick prompt in ChatGPT and then you copy whatever you are um, happy about in here. And you just, um, you know, like change this one based on the function that you need. And then you start just listing your project. So if you are the marketing specialist, you want you may want to um, share some of the results that you are having through campaigns or through you know, like engagement in your emails. If you are a graphic designer, you can show something that you have done for um, like a company or for a private client, depending on what is your um, you know specialization. Especially if you are like a general digital creator or you are just like a marketer person, you use a template like this one, which is quite broad, because you can show different type of aspects of your job. For example, when I was I used to be a marketing specialist, I was doing email marketing, but also a little bit of digital campaigns and also like general communication. Um, and then you just go on if you are not happy about one of the pages so you don't need it you just click on here and you you know delete it um, and if you want to customize a page like completely from zero you just click here and you can create this is a blank page you can create something completely different even like change it completely the background because you want to get the appeal on this page particularly when you put for example your performances um, your results as a digital marketer and then you put some of the best things that you can do. Again, just take a screenshot from your, um, you know, like a type of job that you have done. You upload it here as a file and then you insert it basically here. OK, so let's suppose that I want to insert here one of the jobs that I've done. OK, I, re I wrote this article. Perfect. So I'm going to put it here. OK, of course, this is not for marketing specialists, for academics more. But this is how you can do. You're not happy. You click the touch. You delete it and you put something different, okay? So another article that you are happy or another project that you are happy with. Okay, don't forget to put a lot of like personal information. It could be more like um, who you are as a person, your values, why they should hire you, why you are the right fit for that specific company or job application or for that specific client. And of course, your contacts. For example, for this one, um, it's very good. For this page, it's very good that you show any type of prize or winning um, you know, achievements that you have um, accomplished because they sh uh, it does show you why you are the perfect candidate. And then here at the end, you can show your website, your pages, Instagram, all the social media account curated one that you have your, um, you know, like probably not your streets, not your address, but definitely your mobile phone and email. And then, of course, always a thank you page is always a good option to have. Everything needs to be customized and needs to be consistent. So it's very important that you align all the colors, all the type. You remember that all the type of font that you are using needs to be the same. So if you pick up for the first page, Helvetica, for example, for this font or um, in like any other font or you have this type of creative and this type of colors, make sure that you customize all the pages in this way. Now, once you are ready um, to download your digital portfolio because you think that's done, you can do it in a couple of different ways. You click on share and you go on download and then you pick up from here the version that you think it's the best, which should be like PDF, 
Um, if you want to share the file by email with someone, it's a static file. They won't be able to basically to click on, um, I, I think, almost anything. But it's good because they just go through um, close to your resume and cover letter. If you want to share, uh, the link is going to be pretty, a um, little bit different. So you need to um, click on template link and then you click on create a template link. And then you copy. And then you basically in the um, you know body of your email, please find attach my resume and cover letter. Plus, this is a link of my digital portfolio. Just make sure that the link is clickable. So try with a friend or like with your own email before and make sure that you um, the person who received the link has access because it means that also the recruiter or the client will have access to that digital portfolio. Okay, I think this is the pretty much the most basic, you know, like features that you need um, when you are creating a digital portfolio on, um, you know, on Canva. Uh, if you like the video, you click on subscribe here uh, below. You say connect with me for any future video where I will share advanced futures and different kind of aspects about your career development and growth. Thank you. Bye.